Oh, I have to move so fast in the mornings now. <laughs> Stripe was asleep here, just above the rocks. And then Marty heard me call Tux, who was on the front porch bothering Panther, and he came flying down the hill, or she. Hi. Hey, guys. Girls. I don't know. See, I don't see any stitches on Marty's tummy. I see shaved belly, but no stitches, so... Is it just because of a tattoo? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out still. Maybe one of these days I'll get to pet Marty and I'll be able to tell. A hundred percent. Oh, goodness. Hi. Hi. Where's Morris? I'm sure he'll be along soon. Hi, Stray. Look at you. You're watering. You're such a good boy. Yes, I am. <laughs> you been down to the mailbox? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was fast. Fun. Donnie walked with me after he was out here with the watering can. He said he didn't want to carry the watering can. Right. Well, to carry the water can all the way up here, it's really, yeah. you know, it tires out my arm. That, you know, that's three gallons of water, two and a half gallons of water. Yeah. yeah that's 20 something pounds. Well, thanks for watering them. This guy in particular is looking really nice up here. Yeah. Well, I usually, I put a, fill him up and then let it soak in and we'll go water the other ones, put some more in there. So he has like three shots of water to give it a chance to soak in. It's looking good. Because the pot's really full of dirt. Looking good. Yeah. She says, hi, Donnie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hi. Let me oh. mark you as mine. Oh, God. <laughs> Tux wasn't sure if he was going to walk or not, and then Gray came. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Chase her in the right direction. Back toward the house. There you go. Now, he's getting some now you can, now you're good. Well, and infinite wisdom, one of our neighbors is burning this morning, so we got to smell that on our walk. The butterfly bushes would bloom. We'd have lots of Butterflies, I've seen lots of swallowtails down here this year. Oh. We've got um, damselflies down here, the usual black rounded bodied ones. I want to water some plants, so I told Dawn, why don't you get your coffee and come out here and sit on the bench. Got my coffee and my paper. Yay! Yay. Keep me company. Yep. I don't know when it's supposed to rain and things are dry. There she is. She's over there filling her water cans. Yep, she's a watering machine. I'm a coffee. I got helper. Yeah, she's got helper, see? Yep. Yep. She's doing a great job. I think she's only got a few more buckets to go. I told her I would pull the hose out, it's, you know, but she just says, no, no, I want to do water cans. I don't argue with her. So she's filling up her last water can here. Yeah, last one. This she's, one's got a hole. I'm going to put it on one of our new shrubs. Yeah. I, slow drip. Yeah, it has a hole. I threw it away. She says, go get that bucket. <laughs> Ten bucks. Yeah. It'll drip on my feet. Water and no yeah, problem. Yeah, so she's going to go put it there. Thanks for keeping me company. You're welcome, sweetheart. Yeah, when you stick it behind that bush, you can't even tell, and it just drips, 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 and waters the bush. Yep. That was my idea. <laughs> oh, glad that's done for today. Yeah. Plenty of exercise. Right. Yeah. Me and the cats. That's right. We don't get to do this much at our house because generally when it's pleasant outside, there's mosquitoes that'll carry you away. But there's just the right amount of breeze, just the right temp this morning. The smoke hasn't been super bad. It's not all blowing this way. I see who's burning now. It's our neighbor over there with the shed. But it's not all blowing this way. There is a fire ban, burn ban today. But dry conditions and wind, so... They have no business lighting up today. It might irritate me, but today there's actually a safety issue. 
It's Sunday, you know what that means. Time to cook bacon. So, bacon, yum. So while we're waiting for the bacon, I read an article that Model 3 and Model Y owners should be furious because Tesla once again has changed the price. They've increased both 3 and Y $500. But wait a minute. First of all, if I was an owner and I had already bought my car and the price went up $500, I don't know why I would be furious. I would actually feel I was smart. I bought it buy low, sell high type concept. So I don't understand why they would be furious. But there's another thing that I think all these car sites, and this was carbuzz.com, this article, um, they miss, and even Electric misses this. Look, all you don't know how much you're going to buy uh, your favorite gasoline car. You're going to run. You go go out to your local dealer. You have no idea when you leave home. You don't have no idea how much that car is going to cost. You know what the suggested manufacturer's retail price is, but you don't know what you're going to pay for it when you get to the dealer. And oh, by the way, if you go back tomorrow, it could very well different price. In fact, I would go as far as to say, on any given day or week, no two cars, no same exact model, feature, function, all that stuff, no two cars sell for the same price at your local dealer. So these people are getting upset because once every month or twice a month, Tesla changes their price. When, if you go buy a legacy car, Minute to minute, the price could change. Yeah, Tesla's just in trouble because it's quote-unquote it advertised what? as the, the absolute it, price. Why doesn't GM put guaranteed price locked in? You will go to push this button. You go to the dealer today and pick it up for that price. See how that works with the GM dealers. See if the dealers are like that. See if the Mercedes dealers are like that. See if the Ferrari dealers would like that. Guaranteed. And then, when and if they change the price once a month, then car buzz to see them bitch and moan about that. So I said, I thought, you know, if you've already placed your order, Don says they honor the price you placed it at, even if they raise it. Not after the $100 you, non Not the deposit stuff, stuff, but the actual contracted price the day you ordered. Right. It did come up a couple times that they lowered the price and then people wanted their the contracted price, price right. to be lowered. lowered. And I think Tesla pretty much worked with folks. Yeah. You had to ask. It might not have been automatic. Well, that's the classic why they don't really lower. I don't mean Tesla. In general, prices don't go down for major items like that. Because everybody gets upset if you buy something and then a week later. In fact, there's, you hear people say 30-day price guarantee and stuff like that. Look, I understand all that. Yeah, well, I was going to add, too. You know, Tesla is under a lot of pressure to be profitable. That's right. So they're not going to give the cars away at a loss. They're yeah. going to charge a reasonable price for them. And, you know, if you've been watching Monroe Live, Sandy Monroe, all the time, Tesla's doing this cheaper than the other guy. Tesla's batteries are produced cheaper. Tesla's reduced the bolts on the car that's saving five cents a bolt. I mean, they are trying to produce the cars at the lowest Drive cost possible. The price down. They are. And not just their price, but everybody's price. Right, that's right. So, yeah, don't let me burn the yeah. grease. Yeah. yeah, don't mess up your breakfast. But, so, I, yeah, get, I'm with you. I don't know. You know, only Teslas can catch fire. Yeah, yeah. And only only, yeah, only people that drive Teslas can do stupid things. That's right. And only Tesla monkeys prices, with the price. Uh, 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 car prices Yeah, change. and look, we're talking $500, not $10,000. Right. Look, if you want to talk price changes, don't let's not talk to me. Because I know what I paid for Ruby. Or what we, excuse me, we paid for Ruby. And, and what they go for now. And what they go for now. <laughs> and look, trust me. It, and if anybody should be complaining, complaining. it would be us yeah, and we're not right. complaining. Well, I would always, I'd be happier that Tesla said, well, you know, thanks for buying the herb, but they know I'm not going to do that. Look, I don't expect it either. It's just the, the way things, that's life. It's called life, folks. That's the way it works. Yeah, and stop media trying to incite people to be upset. upset. That's not your role. Your role is to report Tesla had a price increase today of $500. It may affect your buy decision. Done. I mean, there's, there, well, you should be furious or all this other stuff. That is not 
that's not reporting. That's driving a clickbait. Yeah. Well, yeah. the other thing is, is, look, you want a market. You want the market to set the price for things. <clears throat> you don't want the government setting the prices of cars. That's what they did in communist countries. The price controls and everything was fixed. Yeah, you could buy a roll of toilet paper for X number of cents, but there was no toilet paper to be bought because nobody could make it at that price that the government puts the price on. That's the whole problem with price controls. You could argue GM, uh, I'm not faulting GM, uh, I'm picking on them, any manufacturer that does that, in fact, you could, you have to be an Apple. The only company that I know that has successfully been able to do it, has prices, is Apple. They just simply put out there the highest price that they feel like putting out there. And they don't change, you, you can't get it discounted. If you go to Walmart, it's the same price. You go to Best Buy, it's the same. There's no price movement. You might find a place that gives you a $50 gift card gift card or something if you buy your but that's the store doing the loss the leader that's yeah not, that's target targets the one that does that's that that's right there's that's not apple passing that savings on to you the price is the same so in most most companies the the prices are they don't get to dictate the prices yeah Don says we can go for a little drive. Yay! We're not going to do anything fancy, but I'm going to do my pogo and run into Kohl's and maybe run into Walmart. And Don's going to listen to podcasts and we're just going to hang out in Jules for a while. Right. We're going to have a little fun. We're going to see what happens. Don told me we could go to Yates Mill, but I thought, God, Sunday afternoon, yeah, a gorgeous a day. Not yeah. a lot of parking there. Yeah. It'll be a zoo. zoo. Yeah. So I... I appreciated the offer and I love that place, but I declined. Yeah. When you're used to Guardian Angel prices, you just can't do $10, $9.99 regular on sale for $6.99 for one. You just can't. Corral patterns to look for at Guardian Angel. That's crazy. $115 for a 16 piece. I guess it's 16, not eight, but still. I didn't buy anything. And because when you don't have anything nice to say, you probably shouldn't say anything at all. We're just gonna leave it there. I sure do like door service. <laughs> Struck pay dirt, 58 cans of poultry platter and considering that there's not a lot over here, that was a uh, lucky find today. Wow, they took down the construction fence so you can actually see the new high school. I guess it's gonna be ready in August for the next school year. Don's checking out the Judd Parkway extension over here. The last time I came, we were on the left over there for both lanes. So this side is now sort of open. I don't exactly understand why they have the barrels up, but I don't, you still can't go straight. It's still flashing. So it's not really open. Right. And I don't know what the delay is. But this is how it was last time. It's just that I was on the other side and then you turn and you go down the old way. Well, there's 50 people at the basketball court and there's some sort of uh, get together over here at the- Sonny said it was Ruby's turn to get cleaned up. Yay! I can't stay out too long cause I got, still got chicken wings in the skillet browning before I put them in the oven to finish baking them but you know if Donnie's out here I'm gonna come out and visit for a little bit. Hey Donnie! I'm appreciative that he's doing Ruby. All right the wings are in the oven. We're all done with the frying pan part. And that is a sight I love to see. Hey. So the timer's got 30 minutes. Okay, well, I'm, I'm in the, the interior. I mean, um, 
you know, yeah, the door jams and stuff. Jams, yeah. I vacuumed this morning. Got all the loose sand out of the car, so. Yeah,